there's this um, saying drawn from the uh, Christian accounts. Many are called, few are chosen. Some of you might have heard that in uh, church or in your Christian studies. The sad truth about this is that it has an ever so slight mistranslation and misstatement. The correct statement is, and I'll, I'll trans, there's a second level of translation here, many are called, few have chosen. What a radical difference that makes in that statement, right? So many, by the way, in the Aramaic language, wasn't a select greater number out of the whole. It meant actually count less. In other words, everyone. Everyone is called. But few have chosen. Why? You would notice yourself that your journey of awakening goes like this. There are moments you feel you're ascending and there are moments you feel you are crashing. There are moments you feel you are uprising and flowing and expanding and there are moments where you feel you're in a tumultuous downward spiral. It happens. And you know there are moments right on the verge of a deepening of awakening, right on the verge of a shift beyond a certain level or depth of your conditions that something within you goes, <laughs> pulls back, shuts down, shuts off and retreats, yes? So they're little mini moments in which you are called. That consciousness within you is calling you, calling you home. And something in you chooses fear. Something in you chooses doubt. Something in you chooses the comfort zone. Something in you chooses security. Something in you chooses control. Whatever it is. Something in you chooses to cling to the learned condition construct. You may not realize it, but it is a choice. Awakening is exercising that choice ever more consciously. Seeing it for what it is. This is awakening. <laughs> 